What's up guys and welcome back to Tackling the World. For this week's video we're going to be showing you guys our go-to meals for living in this van. We're pretty limited on space in the van so we usually cook outdoors on this stove. Also our sink is really tiny so we try to do quick delicious meals, usually just one pot if we can. For dinner we're doing a creamy tomato orzo that is super good and super easy to make. And I've already gotten started with my beer. I can tell them my beer. We are at this beautiful campground right now, and this campground is $75 per person per night. It's because this campground has hot springs. That's right, There's. we just got out of the hot springs. We arrived at the campsite, and we just went straight to the hot springs. And now we're here cooking dinner. We're gonna get a massage, fancy, and then we're gonna go into the hot springs again. Yeah, but the hot springs super nice. There's like four pools, and there's even a, a sauna, steam room, cold plunge. It's, it's got everything you need. Throwing my onions in with some bell pepper. I like to do spinach usually, but surprisingly really hard to find spinach here. Lots of garlic. After a few minutes, I'm just going to add some cherry tomatoes whole. Just got these from our friend's garden, so they're super yummy. Of course, I'm going to put some of the kelp chili crisp. Link in the description. Got a healthy amount. We don't have a fridge, so just make perfect two portions. Put in a little chicken broth. This one's a lot like risotto, you just have to stir it a lot. I'll just be stirring this for like 10 minutes. About half a can of the coconut milk. This makes it nice and creamy. You could use heavy cream too, if you're not into coconut milk. Back to stirring. And toss some parmesan in there. Bunch of basil. Should use the bigger pot. That's okay. And just a little lemon to brighten it up. And looks good. Ooh, cheesy, creamy. Goodiness. This looks delicious. And I know it is. Mmm. That right there is a perfect dinner. Creamy. Pasta. Ricey. <laughs> Ricey. The orzo is like the rice of pasta. <laughs> At least it's shaped like it. And I love rice. And I love pasta. So combine the two. Delicious. Good job. And we'll see you for the next one. Lunch time, so we're making a little healthy Mexican kind of salad. It's arugula, tomatoes. Thought we had corn, but I uh, guess we don't have any. That's all right. Plenty of other vegetables. Bell pepper, a little bit of onion, cilantro, some avocado, some beans, some cheese. Normally I'd probably make like an avocado crema dressing, but we don't have a blender, so this is the next best thing. Oh, this lime is so dry. Oh my god. <laughs> Nothing came out. Alright, hopefully the next lime has a little more juice. I'm using lemon instead, because the only thing with juice is a little olive oil. And just a little bit of sour cream. So when you mix it, it kind of becomes a crema. Nothing fancy, just a simple meal. All right, salad time. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's coming down now. It's gonna be loud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you guys can't hear me, it's because the rain's coming down pretty hard. And since it's a rainy, cold morning, we're having a little savory oats for breakfast. Just gonna add some chicken stock. 
Just a little dash of oyster sauce. We were thinking about hiking today, but I don't know. Don't know if that's gonna happen. We do technically have the stove inside, but it's so strong. I feel like we're gonna burn the van down. And when we started cooking out here, it wasn't really raining this hard. We've talked about taking the stove out because it takes up so much space. Because that huge stove leaves no countertop space. It's hard to like prep food in there. Spinach. Good healthy breakfast to start the day. Last night the lightning thunderstorm was insane. It was so bright, the lightning. Oh it was like I was looking up at the sky and it was blinding me every time there was lightning. Uh, but it was pretty cool. And the thunder was just loud. So loud. And then there's always around three to five seconds uh, delay on the thunder. So it wasn't too far, I don't think. Um, it sounded right above us. Yeah, it was a little bit scary at times. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't think we're doing a hike today. So, eat inside. And of course, we're going to put our chili crisps. I like the crunch she gives it. I got a little light for breakfast. Taku broke his bowl and then he lost his new bowl, so he has to eat out of the pot. Sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's good, that's good. Yeah. Pretty sure you guys saw this in our last video. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think the chili crisp really makes it because it adds that crunchiness to it. Oh, it's so loud. Yeah, it is pouring out here. I don't know if you could see that, but that's... It's coming down. Probably go inside if the lightning keeps coming. Whoa. Holy moly. Yeah, gonna go inside and we'll see you guys for our next meal. See ya. All right, we got Jocelyn making lunch now. She's making some soup. What kind of soup are you making? Some miso peanut butter soup with some uh, aromatics like ginger and garlic. We are cooking inside because outside are a ton of uh, these little, they're called sand flies and they bite you. They look like little gnats and they just uh, swarm you and they bite and their and their bites are worse than mosquitoes like the the welts the little marks it stays with you for a week if not two weeks and it stays itchy too it stays very itchy oh so we're do doing this inside it's the first time we've encountered them really uh in in high numbers but we've heard that the west coast of new zealand can do can be like that it's really hot in here the stove um heats up this thing a lot putting in the miso paste so i just got this instant stuff from uh, the market making the lens real i know it's fun. so hot in here getting really sweaty the soup seemed nice on a rainy day but now it's steaming hot in here and jocelyn could not handle the heat so i am taking over some tofu and edamame, right? Yeah. Also, the camera can't handle the heat either. We didn't quite get to film that last meal all the way because it got too steamy and too hot in the van. And then we had to eat outside, but there's so many sand flies that the only way to really avoid the sand flies is to keep moving. So it's hard to like eat a soup with both hands and film. But it was pretty delicious. But we are now in our new camp spot and we're making dinner. So right now we got a little bit of spinach and arugula in our bowl. I'm gonna toss in a few tomatoes. My water is boiling, so I'm gonna throw my tortellini inside. Throw in some basil in there. A handful of nuts going in. I prefer pine nuts, but for some reason, pine nuts are really expensive in New Zealand, so I'm using sunflowers. And I usually use mozzarella, but as you guys already know, we're kind of limited on space, so just using what we have in our fridge before we buy new stuff. But mozzarella balls are really good. Tortellini's ready. A little balsamic for dressing. A little bit of olive oil. Sea salt. Some pepper. Simple five, 10 minute meals. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Yes, simple 
five, ten minute meals. <laughs> so we have to time our more elaborate, nicer meals when we're in a campground. I would miss the mozzarella, but that is good. Hmm. Feta here is really good. I don't know why. It's way better Maybe than ours. Maybe it's just the dairy in general. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Wash it down with a little wine. We'll see you guys for breakfast. It's breakfast time and nothing too exciting. Just a little coconut chia pudding with mangoes on top. And Taco's having avocado toast. And for our last meal, we are going to cook up this trout that I just caught this morning. We're staying right next to this lake. And we're just fishing there this morning with our friend James. Uh, check it out. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> first, fish? first bite. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, there it is. It's on? Yep. Got a fish on. Here we go. <laughs> Still got some fight left in it. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. He said nope. Especially with the ultralight. Yeah. I got the SST ultralight rod. Can really feel it. Yes, yeah, nice. There it is. Well done, Taki. <laughs> Beautiful little trout. I already filleted them up, so we're just gonna throw them on the on this little uh, flat top, and with a little blackening seasoning. Um, and I don't have any proper blackening seasoning, but what, all it is is basically just a buttload of spices. So uh, everything I got, I'm just gonna mix those up, throw that on the fish, and sear them right on the flat top. All right, let's start off with some basic seasoning, salt and pepper. Got some paprika, that's always in blackening seasoning. I got some just mixed herbs, just uh, oregano and maybe thyme. I don't know what else is in there. All, what is this, all purpose? All purpose, all right, we'll go with it. <laughs> a couple of these spices just uh, left over from previous people in the van. Probably a little bit salty, so just go light on this one. And some chili powder. And we'll put a little olive oil. And we'll just rub that in. And there you have it, that is seasoned with blackening seasoning. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to the skin side as well. Well, actually I could just rub it on like this. Just get the remainder and just get, rub it on. All right, we got the trout beautifully blackened. See, you don't need blackening seasoning. You just put a buttload of seasoning on it and just sear it. Blackens just like that. Chopping some cabbage. Got to make a little vinegar slaw kind of thing to go on top of it and we'll take a, we'll make a little spicy crema also as a little sauce and uh, warm up our tortillas ready to eat. We got the tortillas going. This has uh, vinegar, lemon juice, uh, salt and pepper and a little chili. And this is just the crema. This is sour cream hot sauce and some chili flakes that's it pretty simple oh maybe add a little lemon juice yeah that's it we'll just construct these got some beer Start with that. Mine's really cool. It's a pickle flavored beer. Pickle beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're craving pickles? <sighs> she must be pregnant. <laughs> That's what everybody says every time she wants pickles. Anything In the pickles? comments. Yeah. But obviously she's not. She's drinking beer. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that is a delicious looking fish taco. Oh, blackened mm. trout fish tacos. Just delicious. We have to conserve our tortillas. <laughs> it's hard to find good tortillas here. And these are actually pretty legit too. Mm -hmm. Nice like street tacos, tortillas. They sell corn tortillas at the store, but they're so bad. 
Like a normal grocery store. That's terrible. You heat it up on the stove and instantly just dries out. <laughs> and just like eating cardboard. I'm like, wow, these are terrible. Hmm. But these are good. These are got Jocelyn got from a specialized Mexican, like not even a retailer. Are they online retailer? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have to order online and pick it up. With the tasty crispy skin in there. The blackening seasoning has a ton of heat. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you were you know interested in anything like this, leave us more comments or other ideas that you have, whatever you want us to make or vlog about. Um, maybe we'll do some brewery stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll do uh, other stuff. I don't know. Um, but on this channel, it, anything's fair game. So leave a comment. Let us know. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.